Hey there guys, how's it going? Um, so you may have noticed that we've gotten a fair few free jewels lately from the uh, the Moogle and the other Moogle uh, that have been awarded. We've got the you know a minimum 5,000 jewels from that. In addition to that, we've got all the Chirithi minis and all the other stuff that's been happening from the anniversary. So it's been a pretty good time in terms of the amount of free jewels we've been getting, plus you know the free pools and all the other stuff. Um, I was just sort of thinking though, before we go rush out and spend all of that, we can sort of see the roadmap in place for the rest of 2018 and potentially beyond. So I thought, I'm going to share with you my plan for what I'm planning to do as a free-to-play player, what I'm going to be saving for, and what I'm not going to be basically falling for any sort of traps that may be coming out. Um, and maybe this might interest you guys as well. So, what do we definitely know about the little lineup here? So, there are plenty of EX banners coming out all the time, we know that. There may be some non-EX banners coming out, we definitely know that as well. But we do know that there's going to be an Organization 13 medal coming out every single month on the 13th. It's going to have an associated event with it that's going to award up to 5,000 jewels if you're able to complete the entire thing. It may or may not be a falling price. In the Japanese version, they've had two of them now. Um, they had Zoldan and then they had Vexen. We obviously missed out on Zoldan the same way that we missed out on the first Organization 13 events the first time around. But, uh, you know, I'm assuming that we're only one month behind now, so we're more or less caught up. Both of their events didn't have a fall in price aspect to them. I have a feeling the only reason ours did, for the one and only one we've had so far, which is Vexen, is because it fell on the anniversary and they wanted to do like something special for that for us. So I wouldn't count on every single one of these being a fall in price in the future. I'd be very, 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 very happy if it was. That'd be amazing. But I wouldn't count on it every single time in the future. Um, so what can we do in terms of... Well, actually, no. Let's break down how many jewels we're actually going to be picking up every month. So... I've done one of these videos before where I basically broke down every single jewel we were going to get over, you know, monthly. So this list here is basically a monthly list of jewels that we're going to be picking up. Uh, so if you break it down into like, let's say the 30 days or 28 days, I'm always going to give a low estimate because it's better to estimate low and then end up with more than you realize than to estimate high and end up with not enough. So for the daily logins, we're going to be getting 900 every five days. So there's obviously f six groups of five days in a 30 day month. So that turns out to be a month worth of daily logins is 5,400. Um, the daily missions, obviously 30 times 30, sorry, 30 times 300 daily. <clears throat> that, uh, daily missions equaling 300 jewels. Obviously there's 30 days in a month. So 9,000 there, very, very important. Definitely do this every single day because they really, really add up. Uh, in addition to the daily missions, we also have the weekly missions, which add up to, you know, let's say four weeks of a thousand. Again, we're estimating low there because obviously there's more than 28 days in a month. Another 4,000 on the pile there. Okay, so it's at the Organization 13 event, and we know that that has up to 5,000 available, but we don't know for certain that we're going to be going to actually be able to earn them all, especially newer accounts, especially accounts without tons and tons of resources available to them. It may not be the correct assumption to assume you're going to get all 5,000. I mean, just literally last month, like I, I personally could only get four out of the 5,000. That's not to say that other free-to-play accounts didn't get all 5,000. I'm, I'm positive they would have been. But I didn't see, I personally only got four. So if we just go for a very, very conservative, conservative estimate of 3,000 there, then hey, if we earn more than that, even better, we earn more than that. Um, Union Cross is a bit funny. Like this week, for example, we have 480 available to us. So if you say 480 a week over a month, okay, that's a damn sight more than the 1,200 I've listed. But every now and then they do weird things. They'll do like one Union Cross event that inexplicably lasts only like, like last two weeks, for example. And then other times they'll have events that should last a while and only last one week, like the Dalmatians event, for example. Um, I've just put you know, a low balling, like 1200 there, just in case, for whatever reason, they decided to have, you know, two two week events, which only awarded 480 each. Um, but I think that's a pretty low estimate. Um, the Chirithi Minis, we're getting 200 jewels a week every single Friday from that. So we're, again, we're estimating low and saying about 800 a month from that. And I believe we're still getting a story in one story, one proud mode every update every month um, of 750 jewels a piece. So with story mode, it's typically 250 jewels over three missions. And even if, even if they have like a really tiny update of five missions, they'll usually give it out jewels on, you know, second, fourth and fifth. But usually like in a 15, 15 mission update, it'll be every five. Uh, with proud mode, I think it's like 150 every four for a 25 mission update so same again it's going to work out to 1500 for the combined amount um, there's a bunch of other stuff in there as well that we don't necessarily have guaranteed and a bunch of smaller stuff that we do like you know the um, the monthly 
the monthly raid events, for example, will give you 100, and then also three weeks of just regular weekend raid bosses will give you another 100 combined, so there's another 200 on the pile there. All sorts of other little, tiny little things that I'm not really going to mention. I will mention events though, and that's a tricky one because we don't really know what events we're going to get. We can assume that we're going to get some events, but like, you know, Hades Cup, for example. Um, sorry, not Hades Cup. We got the Phil Cup, and then we just didn't get any of the others. Like, Japan's had a Hercules Cup and a Pegasus Cup, and we just didn't get any of them, which are a decent chunk of jewels there. Japan typically gets a bunch of events that we haven't really seemed to have gotten. Um, like, little quiz events that reward tons of jewels that we've just... We have never gotten one of those, so... I'm really hoping that we do get some more of those, because they're, like, really easy jewels, and... You know, it's more stuff for us to actually do during the week, so... I'm hoping we at least have like at least one or two events every week. I mean, I'll, I'll even take one that award a decent bit of jewels. Like right now, we've obviously got that uh, what's it called consecutive battle. There I guess consecutive battle challenge going on, which is 300 jewels for this week. So a conservative estimate again, like minimum one one and a half thousand jewels a month you can add onto this list, which is basically what I've done. I've basically taken all of this and said it's roughly. Roughly 25,000 jewels, and again, that's only including 3,000 out of the total 5,000 for the Organization 13. So, let's say roughly, roughly 25,000 and a bit um, jewels you're going to be getting each month. Okay, so what could you go ahead and do with that? There's a decent amount of jewels there, but if we want to be smart about it and we want to make the most of them, what should we do? Well, let's go through some of our options, shall we? Options. Uh, every single time we hit 3,000 jewels, we can trade them all in for what is in the shop right then. Uh, I don't really recommend that. I recommend, as you know, saving up. I typically do save up for quite a long time before I spend my jewels. And I hope you guys learned by now that once you get over that initial hump of like, okay, I don't have to spend them as soon as I get them, saving's easy after that. It's really easy because you know that I'm just going to save up for a mercy and it's going to be great when I get there. It's going to suck when I don't. It's going to suck when everyone has the new high school challenge medal for that month. But I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to wait my turn. Now, option number two, if we have 25,000 jewels every single month, then we have enough to mercy every single Organization 13 event, whether it's a falling price or not. If it's not a falling price, we're going to get one copy for 15,000 jewels, assuming we don't get it earlier. And if it is a mercy, I think it's 11,800. So it's about a three, 3,000 and a bit jewel saving if it is a falling price. Uh, again, I'm very, very happy for it to be a falling price. The reason we might want to do this, and we might want to do this consistently, is because... Okay, let's say you take your pick. Let's say there's a five pool Mercy on an EX banner that comes out. You know, it could be a really, really cool EX banner medal. It could be, okay, really, really nice. You might have trait medals that come with it. Probably not going to happen every single pool like we currently have right now. I think that's a bit of a... Uh, sorry, if you're watching this in the future. Uh, right now, the stained glass medals are in the shop and every single pool you do on those uh, gives you one trait medal as well to go into the, into the, um, into the respective stained glass medal. I don't think that's going to be a standard, although I really wish it was, because I think it, it makes for a fantastic pulling if you do get a trait medal every single EX. My point is that if we don't have that in the future, let's say this is it's a standard 5 pull mercy for a brand new EX medal, that's going to come without a trait and without the, you know, maybe 3 out of 5 dots, 3 out of 5 dots filled up, so it needs a bit of Mickey and Broom investment. For that, you get a, a semi-powerful medal, right? And it'll probably be powerful for, you know, a little while. It's going to require the rest of support from the rest of the Keyblade built around it, but it'll probably have some use. Compare that to an Organization 13 medal, which we don't know what they're going to be right now, but we know they're going to be relatively powerful, right? Because unlike the Organization Organization 13 B medals, like, you know, Xemnas B, Luxord B, or all of them B, they didn't necessarily have to be super powerful because they were being given out totally for free. They didn't really have to make them super useful. Some of them were, some of them definitely were, especially the defensive ones, looking back in hindsight. And like, the Zigbar B was incredibly powerful. That was such a good medal to have given out to us at the stage that they gave it out. But they don't necessarily had to have made those ones super powerful because they were giving him free medals. And you didn't want to have people get those and then not need to pull it all. The difference here is that they sort of need to be good to make people pay for them, or else if they're not good, people would just go, uh, whatever, I'll just complete the event, get a ton of jewels from that, and then just ignore this banner, and then I'll keep saving up. So, they kind of have to be decent. Not necessarily amazing, but like decent. And the really cool thing about that is, you're going to get at least three, or four, or five, depending on how much content you can complete, trait medals to go along with it. Now, people will have terrible luck, and people will have good luck with traits, but if you average that out as okay luck, 
a gilted tier 8 of, you know, who knows, tier 9 by the time they could be finished with it, metal, with at least decent traits on it. So sometimes you get really crappy ones, granted, sometimes you get like, you know, a couple of slave resists and nothing, but you may eventually get, you know, the negative ground, negative area, whatever, extra attacks sometimes where it really, really counts, and that could overall give you more benefit than if you were to pull like, again, random EX mercy pulls every now and then, which don't have any traits on it and you have to invest the guilds into, and they'll, again, they'll be good for a while and good, probably good for quite a while, but it's just traits are so important nowadays that, I don't know, you never really see people using medals anymore as soon as they're outclassed. Like, uh, offensive medals get outclassed very, very, very quickly, and I don't know, it's a bit harder to outclass a medal when it has really, really good traits on it, you know, like, I'm still using medals right now that have, you know, the negative 60s on them and still carry me, still carry me a really, really long way. So, at least that's my two cents on it. I think I'd rather have a guaranteed chance at a medal that is going to be a five pull mercy. I know that. And I know I'm going to get at least, you know, three or four traits on it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to go for that. Again, your mileage may vary. You may find that on a particular month, you don't have a use for a medal, which is, which is my next point, actually. You don't necessarily have to go for every single Organization 13 medal. Once you get like, you know, with Vex and, B, uh, Vex and Plus just came out, so that was a, a reverse power one that gave some really, really good defensive options. The next month will be Lexaeus, which will be most likely a reverse power, and we know that because statistically in the past it's always been reverse power for, for that character. And they're giving out a Dark Nord booster for this month, which is the reverse power Keyblade, so there's a pretty good chance it's going to be a reverse power medal again. If you get this reverse power medal this month, and then, you know, month goes by, month goes by, month by, month goes by, we get another reverse power, you might be like, well, I'm actually okay for now. Like, I'm okay with the one that I already had. I don't necessarily need to get another one. The improvements that one gives aren't necessarily that much better than the improvements I already have on this one. Uh, so maybe I'll skip it. Maybe I'll just skip this one. Um, and you could definitely do that. And then you could save that. Save the jewels you would have spent allocated towards the Organization 13 medal for that month on doing one of those five poor mercies, or maybe even you've saved it up a couple times and you can do more than one five poor mercy. I think the most power that you get from a banner, the way that you win or place really highly in a high squad challenge is not just, in the long run, if you could mercy pull like one percentage, one twenty one percentage medal for each high squad challenge, or you could like skip one or skip even two maybe, and then mercy pull three medals for a high squad challenge, I think in the long run that would benefit you more. And I, now I could be wrong, and again, your opinions may widely, wildly vary on that. But I think, at least for me, that's what I'm doing right now. I didn't pull it all for the Final Fantasy Record Keeper Terror, or Warrior of Light, or Triton. It didn't do anything for that whatsoever. But then I went really, really, really hard on that KR 16 banner, 13 banner, what, 16? <laughs> I've already forgotten, KR 16 banner. And it really rewarded me. And again, I got super lucky in the pools. Super, super lucky, but that's pretty much been my strategy. Avoid, like, every two or three high score challenges, if not four. Go crazy on one. And that means that I miss out entirely on some. And again, like, Warrior of Light and Final Fantasy Terra, I would have really liked at least one of those, but, you know, we live and we learn. And now I have this really cool Mickey to show for it, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Again, your mileage may vary, but... It's going to be up to you of what you want to do with it, guys. And I'm just sort of saying, if you plan ahead, you might find things work out a bit better for you in the end. If Okay, if you do like the sound of that, if you do like the sound of, okay, I'm going to get every single Organization 13 medal, what can you do to plan ahead right now? Well, given that the stained glass medals are in the shop for another, what, 19 days, it'd be a great opportunity to pick up just at least one of the reverse stained glass medals. Now, at this point of the game, again, if you're watching in the future, it's the beginning of May, and the speed ones haven't been officially announced yet. We know that it is going to be a Sora for the upright speed, and a Shion for the reverse speed. We just don't know when they're going to come out yet. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks from now, who knows. Um, but I would definitely recommend picking up at least one of those, so you have a really, really good reverse buffer to make the most out of your brand new Organization 13 medal, because I mean, we know they're all going to be reverse. Oof. I mean, I can't imagine which ones wouldn't, bar, I guess, Roxas and Shion. Uh, I mean, maybe Axel, but I really doubt it. But uh, <laughs> it has to be Lee for it to be upright. Uh, anyway, my God, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out this year. Oh, boy. They'll be right, they'll be upright medals right there. I just, it literally just hit me that Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally coming out. Getting off topic, back on topic. Um, 
yeah, so plenty of cool things you can do with it, guys, and definitely some saving to be done. If I've forgotten any sources of jewels, definitely let me know. But speaking of sources of jewels, I think we should go ahead and collect these presents that have been sitting there for a month. Um, if you guys wonder why I don't collect them, it's just because I would get too tempted to spend otherwise. Like, I just leave them all there, and then I think, all right, if I knew I had an extra however many thousand to play with, then I'd be tempted to spend them. But as it stands right now, I'm like, okay, if I don't fall below this point, then I'll have this much to save for in the future. It's probably not the best way of doing it, but whatever. It does sort of work for me. So I got lucky and I got four Illustrated Moogles in total. So add that to the... Woohoo! Add that to the um, the three two Moogle medals we got as well, plus the 500 that we got today from the Cherithy Minis. It's a decent bit of change we just got. So it's a pretty decent amount of jewels. Um, again, I'm going to be saving up. I'm going to do at least one pull on the stained glass medals. And I assume I... I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to get uh, Lexaeus on the 13th of this month, so I'll do a pull for you guys now, I'll do a pull for you guys because you've <laughs> sat through for this long, but um, and I think of all the ones I'm going to go for, I think I, th I think I know I'm going to go for the reverse magic and I th I've sort of explained that in my last video, but oh well, bit of a YOLO pull here um, anyway, let me know what you think guys, if you think I'm talking absolute bollocks, let me know that as well um, but I went pulled on the reverse banner, didn't I? Is that two premiums or three? Hey, cool. Look at that. 0 0.2 aqua. Hell yeah. Haven't got one of her yet. All right, cool. Um, anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. All right, all the best. Bye.